Removing a 71 CL100 engine. Got a bolt down here for the engine, a bolt here. You have to remove the toolbox. You have to remove these four. Because if your engine's in the original condition, this will be under the toolbox and you won't be able to pull it out. The exhaust manifold here, here, which also connects to part of the engine side case, and at the back there, that connects to part of the shock absorber. Pull off the carb. Don't forget to put the nuts and bolts back where they, you took them from. It makes it easier to uh, reassemble things, you know, little things like this, or the three. There's one here, back in here, and on the other side for the tool holder. Don't forget to route that wire down through the, what is it, the third one, third fin? The middle fin? Four 12 millimeter bolts, hold that on, and you're ready to go. Remove the cam chain, you're going to move this bolt, pull that out. Of course you got to pull off these two backing plate bolts. These two are the timing chain cover. Pull that out, lift this off, remove the chain next. Because this engine is seized for some reason, we think it's oxidation, we're going to pull the two bolts off and worry about reality later. Actually a little O there that would line up with this little hash mark. But this engine's locked. We just happen to be in almost correct position. So you've got some valve lash on both sides. You're going to turn this clockwise and get the cam chain loose. And then the cam should pull forward easier. So when you turn that screw down clockwise, this will come right loose. See? Remove the uh, cam tensioner bolt there. Remove this bolt, although I couldn't find anything in the manual that says to do that, but that obviously goes down here. And pull the head off. So, you have to pull this the bolt out of there, loosen the cam chain from down here, take off these four bolts. So we have what's technically known as caca. I've almost got the piston out, but um, there's resistance all the way to the bottom. I'm assuming that the uh, rings are probably frozen in place and in an outward position causing resistance. We've been going about 20 minutes and uh, first we only had it down to about there, right? Now we've got it almost all the way out. Got about a half inch to go. This is also known as caca. So this is going to need a piston and ring. We can tell from all this carbon buildup. Well, it came off on the next pull. So, the oil ring is loose, but the top ring is frozen, and in between there is rust, and then there's scrapes on here on the skirt. So that's a prime candidate for a piston.